Hey everyone, today I am doing something a little different. I'm going to do a review of this Queen & Company card kit. It is called Happy Harmony and it is one of their card kits that comes with uh, shaker dies and all the elements that you need to make shaker cards. If I take a look at the criteria here, I've got the theme, the quality, the cost and value, the waste or leftovers, and then your ability to reuse. And I'm going to score each of those out of 10 throughout the video, and then we'll get a total score out of 50 at the end about what I think about this card kit. Now the kit itself comes in this little Ziploc bag and it does have a color printout with some example cards as well as a photo of all of the contents and how the different shaker cards go together. I did find that the printout was stuck to the bag and what that meant is there was a whole lot of dye from the printer or the printout that is stuck to the inside of the bag so it's kind of stained yellow and a bit of a mess. It didn't harm any of the contents or anything but I did try and clean it up with some alcohol and it did not clean up. It is going to stay that way forever. Now on my desk here, you can see that I have all of the contents of the kit, but I also had on the left that I just covered up with that printout. They are the foundation 12 dies. They do not come in the base kit and nor do the outline dies that I have on that right hand side that I just picked up. Both of those are actually extras that I purchased so that I could create my first set of cards using this kit. What you do get in the kit is you get a 6x6 paper pad and that one is absolutely brilliant. It is one of the prettiest paper pads I've seen from Queen & Company. Absolutely loved using it. You get some of the foam pieces, enough to make 18 cards. You also get the pre-cut acetate. Uh, you get this stamp set which is full of many, 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 many sentiments. You get the set of shaker dies, which is the one on the top middle. And then you get the sample size, I believe it is, of the shaker elements in, I think it was like eight or 10 bright colors. I'll show you those a little later. In terms of the theme of this kit, I love the music theme, very unique. Really, there isn't a lot on the market that you can choose from that would have something that's so universal. I do wish that there was more instruments in there. So with the heart and then the music note, um, I would have preferred more instruments. So I did give that a seven out of 10. My next criteria is quality. And for this, I'm really taking a look at the weight of the paper, the how sturdy the dies are, the stamp set, everything in this kit is absolutely top notch. Like you could not ask for better quality. The paper here is very heavyweight and double sided with gorgeous patterns on both sides. I had real trouble trying to work out uh, which side I would use when I was making my cards because both were fantastic. I, I'm almost going to say that this is almost like lightweight cardstock. It's that heavy. So very, very sturdy when you are making shaker cards and you need something that's going to stand up to a bit of movement. With these little diamonds, they're the Queen & Company diamond shaker elements. In the picture for the card kit, it does show them in like little jars, but they come in little baggies instead, which is fine. I, you know, I don't mind either way, but just so that, you know, they weren't as per the picture, but they are very, very gorgeous colors. And I found when I initially looked at the kit, I was worried that there wasn't too many of them. But when I created my first set of cards, and I will show them in another video, you'll see that they did stretch and I did have some left over after I created my first set of 18 cards. In terms of the foam, the foam is very deep and it allows you to make a really hefty shaker card. And so based on that and the acetate, everything was top notch. So I gave it an eight out of 10. I'm a pretty hard scorer because I feel like there's always needs to be room for improvement. So an eight is an excellent score. In terms of the dies themselves, you can see here that they cut a really solid outline so that you can add the acetate and then the shaker elements. But then they're really, really well thought through in terms of the decorative elements to make the instruments. But then also just the decorative elements that you would use across uh, your cards in general. This card kit is valued at $59.95 US retail and is currently on sale at $49.95. There has been a few special offers that Queen and Company have done. So over the July 4th holiday, um, there was buy one, get one free. Um, so uh, to me, uh, is it good value? I wish that these were included, the outline dies. I feel like those are super useful for you to get longevity out of the card kit and to be able to make shakers at home. 
Every time I buy one of their card kits, I always buy the outline dies. So I wish it was included. For the cost and value, I've given this an 8 out of 10. And it's really based on the number of cards that you can create using just the base kit and how much that would cost if you were going to buy a similar card retail. So for me, I made so many cards out of the base kit and I have so much more left that I just felt for value for money, um, it's going to be a, a high number at an 8. If you're enjoying the video, it would be fantastic if you could hit the like button. That is how YouTube knows to share the video with more viewers. So thank you in advance for that. Okay, on to criteria number four. This one is about uh, any waste or leftovers. And I'll say I can see myself using everything in this kit. And the only thing I probably won't use again is the violin. So the violin is one of the most fiddly instruments to create. Uh, and it's probably not a popular or very well used instrument here in Australia. So I would be much more likely to create uh, cards for kids using a guitar, which is way quicker and way more simple to put together um, than to mess around with the violin. So other than that, I think all of the dies out of this die set and all of the instruments I will definitely use again. So based on that, I gave waste and leftovers an eight. I probably should have given it a nine because there's really only one thing out of this entire kit that I probably won't use again, but maybe I was a little harsh when I was marking that one. All right, you can see me in the background creating some cards. I've really just shown this so you can see just how simple it is. Um, on to the next criteria, which is reuse. Now, I, this is absolutely reusable and it does tie back a little bit to where we were talking about which of the dies I'll use again. And so if I do use all of the supporting dies, but then only five out of the six main dies, again, I've given this one a score of eight. So very, very high scoring for this shaker kit and really, really impressed by the Queen and Company products. I've really, really enjoyed them. Now I'm showing you here the three cards using the similar layout. One has the full shaker with the deep foam that comes in the kit. And this turned out absolutely gorgeous. I love this. Those orange pops, by the way, they gave me in my order. Now this one is similar, but you can see that there's no shaker card and I've just used the die uh, nice and flat. And then this one, I used that piece of foam that came out of the middle of the die just to pop up the back of the piano. And so three different ways to create a piano using the same die. So from a reuse perspective, excellent, absolutely excellent. And these ones here, you can see I have created some guitars as well, and I'll show you these in maybe a third video. So overall, I gave the Queen and Company Happy Harmony card kit a 39 out of 50, which is a super high score. So absolutely recommend it. And I'll put a link below to anyone who's trying to find it online. Now, I've also put here the foundation dies number 12. These were sold separately, but I did use them in those cards I created uh, today. So I wanted to make sure that I showed you those separately. I have put a link here to my video using the entire paper pad from this kit if you wanted to check it out. Have a great day.